Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. Today I am bringing you another of our Distillery Wars shootouts with our Workhorse whiskeys, another blind head-to-head -head between two fantastic pours. So let's get into these guys today. But before we do that, as I continue to mention, I'll link a playlist up here. If you are just joining us in this shootout, the playlist up here will give you all the other videos that led up to this one. So that way you guys can get caught up on how we got to where we are today and how I set up this whole thing. I don't want you to be confused by any of this stuff. There's a video in there where I laid out how I set the entire thing up. So definitely check that out. That way you're not confused or wondering how I did this thing. So let's get into these two amazing whiskeys, starting with number six. Hmm, light fruits on the nose, but there's not a lot else at the moment. Got some apple, some pear. I mean, the slightest hint of citrus and vanilla, but I mean, just I'm digging for that. There's not a lot there at the moment. This one's got a few deeper, darker notes. Dark brown sugar, some oak. Some leather. A little vanilla. All right. <sighs> and again, I keep mentioning, I don't know where I'm at in this shootout. I don't know if these are winners, if these are losers. These are eliminated whiskeys that are battling for a position. So we don't know what we're drinking at the moment. Again, the numbers don't mean anything. They don't refer back to any of the other numberings in the previous video. So don't get confused by that. And let's get on to the taste of number six. Cheers. Definitely gonna need another taste of this one. That first taste is just very, I mean, it tastes a little bit mediocre at the moment. Um, let me get one more taste before I start ripping on this whiskey if that's the case. All right, a little bit more there. A little bit like honey sweetness, light fruit, floral character. A little bit of bitterness in the back end. Not incredibly complex at the moment, so I'm curious to see how that will, will pan out if we kind of go back and forth a little bit. Definitely a little more rich nose here. A little bit darker characters. Let's get into this one. Yeah, a little bit of like honey sweetness. Those dark characters definitely don't come across on the palate that I'm smelling on the nose. The richness isn't quite there either at the moment. Hmm. Let me go back to this one again. Okay, a little bit more there. Like I said, definitely a honey sweetness, some light fruits. A little bit of light caramel coming across the middle. Back of the palate, a little bit of that bitterness comes in. A little bit of vanilla. Nothing real dark in there though, I was surprised with the nose. Something a little funky in there. All right. Let's go back. Today, I'm going to go back and forth between these whiskeys as I have been doing this entire shootout, kind of figure out you know, how I feel about them, which some of the more of the flavor notes that are coming across, and which one I definitively think has won this challenge. Right now, it's pretty tight. I mean, and I'm not, I'm not in love with either of them at the moment. So maybe these are in our losing bracket, or these are the two that are battling for seventh place. I don't know. But 
Um, I'm going to go back and forth, take some notes, speed this up to not waste your life, and I will come back with all that info for you in just a sec. All right, so I've gone back and forth between these guys quite a bit here. <clears throat> a little bit more character popped out. I'm not as disappointed as I was tasting as I was when I was initially tasting them. Um, over here, we got some light fruit. We've got some vanilla, some citrus, some uh, oaky kind of brown sugar, caramel, vanilla kind of coming over the back end with a little bit of that like oaky tannic bitterness. Reasonably well balanced. Um, there's a couple other flavors kind of hiding in there too that you can kind of pick out here and there. Over here, we stay a little bit sweeter. We've got a little bit of that honey sweetness, light fruit, um, kind of like a little bit of a breadiness. There's a little strange character in this one. I'm not sure what it is. And it stays pretty sweet throughout the finish. Um, there's a little bit of bitterness that kicks in, in the back end, but it's not very much. <clears throat> excuse me. So, oh, excuse me. So, this one is a tight race. They're both decent whiskeys. My goodness, they're not knocking my socks off right now. But I think for me right now, number six takes the day. There's just a little bit more, it's a little bit more well-balanced, a little bit more complex than number eight is. Number eight is maybe a little easier drinking. Um, it's a little bit sweeter. And if you just want something to sip on that you don't have to think about, this is a really decent whiskey for that. But for me, Number six just has a little bit more to dig into, a little bit more to look for, and it's a little bit more interesting. So for me today, number six is the winner. So again, on the screen, I'll try my best to put which whiskeys these are, and hopefully I have the bottles like sitting here on the table or however it ends up being. But um, for me, number six is the winner. So as I always ask you guys in the comments down below, did I get this one right for you? Which would you have chosen as the winner of this head-to-head -head shootout? Leave a comment down below and let me know. And as always, you can catch me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. You can catch me on Instagram at mission bottle kill where I'm posting pictures of people killing all kinds of great bottles of whiskey. You can also send me an email at blindwhiskeyreviews. That's whiskey with an E at gmail.com. And until next time, cheers.